Yes, people, we are there again. And we are not there alone tonight. We are there with a special guest. We are there yet. Yeah. Remember, me always tell you to say, on reggae cruise, we do it out and national. And I want it to give you hip hop, reggae, dance, we do it here. And tonight, we have a special guest. The one named Udoka. I am there yet, so. Yeah. Yeah, Udoka, what one? I'm good, bro. How are you doing? I'm good too, I'm good too. You're looking all fly, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yes, uh, big ups, big ups. This is your first time on Reggae Cruise, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so welcome. Thank you, man. And Thanks how are you? Yes, uh, everything good, everything good. And how has the music treat you all this time? Uh, we think good, man. We are alive, we're surviving. Man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, so and good. we'll keep surviving, yeah? Your music is life, you know? True thing, true yeah. thing. Yes, I people are the voice of the one named Udoka. Soon, we have a bag of questions for him when I'm going to answer tonight. And if you are a fan of Udoka, yeah, the No 48 in PH Krona, a better step close to your radio set. Tell man them to tell another man, say the vibe getting set. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, people, we are back again. Yeah, remember me I tell them to say, me have the one named Udoka in the yard tonight. Yeah. And may have bag of questions for him, trail a lot of questions may have for him tonight. And people may gonna step on the cruise as we groove. Yes sir, first of all, make me start it this way. You know, this is the first time we step on the cruise. Yeah. yeah. So as a tradition here, me want to ask you, where are you from? Where is Udoka from? Udoka, Udoka is from Albia State. Alright. Yeah, so half your local government. Okay. Precisely, yeah. Okay. You are from Abia State. Yeah. You you grew up here or you were born there and you later moved down to PH? Yeah, I was born in Abia State, then later moved down to down PH. PH. Yeah. Alright, alright. Nice, nice that. Okay, so number two, I want to ask you, how long have you been in the music industry? Okay. Like, um, professionally, I've been around for like, let me say 10 years now. 10 years, yeah. what a 10, a decade, a big lion you are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So, all right, before the 10 years, yeah. what were you doing? What inspired you before the 10 years to come into music? Um, because, you know, the drive came from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. I've been a music lover, you understand, all since right. I was younger. All right. I was a teenager, so, and I started this music when I was 16 years. Wow. So when Tupac, Amali Tupac, was my mentor, so okay, okay. So he started when I was listening to him when I was very young. Oh, yeah. So from there I derived that joy, joy to music. To music so. Okay. And ever since this has always been hip hop strictly. Yeah, yeah hip hop. So All right. I've been rapping since then. Okay, been rapping since yeah. then to date. It's nice one, nice one, big one that so. So, Sonia go and teach me how to rap too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's man. what I do for a living. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, if, you know, in everything you do in life, you must have someone you look up to. Yeah. You know, even in the church, yeah. the ones who want to be a pastor, yeah. they might what them call a mentor. Yeah. yeah. So, let me bring it to you. In the music industry, let me start it locally. In a Nigeria, okay? Let me bring it back to BS Port Harcourt, first of all. In Port Harcourt, who is the rap artist you love or you look up to? 
I love Dr. Buzz. Like, what a thing! The raging of our soul. He has always been that guy. You understand that? Yeah, man. I look up to sometimes. You understand because right. he has this, he has this ingredients. You understand? A lot of buzz. You understand that, that the rap music needs. Yeah. So I always, I've always look up to him. You all understand? Right. I, I love his work. You understand? Okay. Yes, his creativity and all this. Okay. So. Just him alone in Potaco. Him alone in Potaco. Oh, look, I like I like Dan Dizzy too. You understand? Oh, Dizzy, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctor Buzz is the guy. All right. Yeah. Okay. In Nigeria, yeah. who is the hip hop head you look up to? Okay. Um, you know, in the, you know, I grew up in rugged man's era. Era, right? Uh, Idris Abdul Karim, okay. Mode Nine. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So, um, rugged Di Baba happens to be the one. Okay. Up till date. Mm, now the love, I think you know, is not being consistent. You understand? Yeah, because you know, maybe, they're growing old. You understand? Ten, ten. So, am I? Am I? Am I? Yeah. All right, all right. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. nice. Okay, coming to the world standard. First, you mentioned Tupac. Yeah. You said he was the inspiration. Yeah. You've already mentioned him. So, apart from Tupac. Who else out on national where you look up to, where you love so much? Okay. Where if them give you the opportunity to say, go run things with him, okay. who is that man? Just one man. <laughs> Jada Kiss. What a <laughs> And you look like him too. <laughs> <You know>? Yes, <laughs> I. <laughs> nice, 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 yeah. nice. So, basically, these are the people you look up to yeah. in hip hop. Yeah. Here from Port Harcourt down to international. Yeah. Yes, big team that. So all this while, all this while, how, how, how many songs have you been able to put down? You said professionally you've been in this business for 10 years now, yeah? yeah? For these 10 years, 10 years is not 10 days, no. not 10 months, not no. 10 weeks. A real long time. Yeah. And many was enough things to happen all this while. So this period of 10 years, how many songs have you been able to put out, or how many albums have you been able to run? Okay, like, um, I've not really done albums because, you know, as, as an independent artist, All right. you understand, it takes a lot of hard work, you understand, it can take, it can take more than a decade, you understand, to, to really do, put up a, a nice job, a nice work, so that people Love. Um, love, you understand, yeah. love and appreciate. So, I've been doing a lot of songs, you understand, all, right. all these um, 10 years, but sometimes it's not, it's not back to back, you understand, sometimes you just okay. have to drop one, okay. you know, take your time, drop another one because, you know, it's not easy, yeah. you yeah. understand, yes. True. I've been dropping a lot. A lot. Yes. Okay, to estimate it, like how many of you just want? Call it a number. Okay, let Up me to 100, <laughs> 200, 1000. You know, the line. you know, like I, I live in the studio, you understand? I record almost, All right. almost every week. Are you a Our music producer? Of, no, I'm not a producer, but okay. I'm very close to producers, you understand? So, okay. so, like every week I do songs, but you know, bringing it out for. People like for promotion. For promotion okay. So it takes for like maybe yes, yeah, it takes like maybe two a year. Okay. Two, so I drop like maybe two or three okay. in a year. Okay, that, that that means you really take your time yeah. to do a good job. Yes. You just don't rush it. Yeah, don't rush it. Yes, and good things doesn't come easy. Yeah, okay. Yes, that is on you. That is questions for you. But right now generally on Reggae Cruise you always talk about issues in other society so make me bring this to you before we go on a music break you know the times are rough the times are hard and lots of people are going through a lot of things exactly. you know some people where we are yam three square meals before can yam three anymore them yam two people who yam two can yam two anymore them yam one so and it's getting tougher like the crocodile skin yeah everything okay you you are able to scale through all this while into this time and you're still in the time surviving you're now going to crime you do your music peacefully do your thing and you're still hoping for the future yeah. how are you able to cope because lots of people cannot 
like I tell you presently, most people are just going out through drugs because they can't handle it anymore. Most people are selling their family members, like my head of a man, we are selling wife and him picnic for 1.6 million. You understand? How are you able to stay consistent and stay focused with this time? Well, it, it's not easy, like you say, you understand? They just focus just on courage focus on plus on grace on. of God, you understand? Because we are living in these hard times now. And the condition of the country now, yeah, you know, man. it is very, very hard. Tough. Very, very hard. Yes, so yes. just take that focus and grace of God. Amen. Just walk and pray. Yeah. Your people in the EM, when you hear me tell you, walk and pray. Stay focused. Put your trust in a jar and everything go nice. Yes, make we run back to the music then, yes. This is coming from Roman Vego. And I'm talking about this one, progress, because each and every one of us we go on progress liquor by liquor. We're gonna come back soon. Yes, this is Reggae Cruise with the one called J Papa. And me there here with Udo Car. Cause no 48 MP. Yes, we'll come back soon, people. People 89.9 Garden City Radio that you under the upon right now. And this is Reggae Cruise with the one called J Papa. Yes, I'm on the Reggae Cruise representer, the dancer, the, the, the fire marshal. Yes, people me day with the one called Udoka in the yard. So, and if you are listening from the beginning, you hear him say a lot of things before now. Let's not forget, Udoka, you told me about your mentors. Yeah. yeah. And all these 10 years, no one asks you, have you brought out an artist like you? Have you grown somebody where you're going to be proud to say, hey man, this is yeah. someone like me? Uh, or yeah. someone over time? Yeah, 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 I have. Right. Like how many people? Let me say, like, um, I have a lot, but I just have only one that's just following up. That's following up, okay. Yeah. I remember me tell you I said you're coming to learn rap too, so you count me in too. No <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So the big question over there I had to bring us together. So you have a tune when we play before the crew started. Yeah. It's titled No 48 in PH and it's been playing on most of the radio stations in Port Harcourt yeah, yeah, exactly. and right here in Garden City Radio it has played back to back yeah. severally. Sure. Yes. I want to know the inspiration, first of all, the inspiration behind the song, you know, there is no smoke without a fire, yeah. yes, sir. so there is a reason for that song. Yeah. First, the title, No 48. <laughs> what is No 48? <laughs> first of all, let us start it from there. Uh, you know, um, let me say, okay, 48, you understand, no yeah. 48, it's actually a popular slang, okay. you understand, in Potako Street, okay. you understand, uh, actually it is used to describe someone, you understand, that lacks the street orientation, or, okay, you okay, Potako street orientation, you understand, so okay. that's where the word 48 comes okay. from, so, so you're, you're, right you're saying nobody yeah. will lack the street orientation to the yeah, man, you understand? Yeah, so it right. is hard for you to find someone that lacks. True, true. You understand? You put that court right down, that street orientation. Okay, yeah. so that's about the title. So, yes. what's the general inspiration behind this song? This, this inspiration, you understand? You know, you know, you know the street of Potakot. It's it's somehow it's a very rugged city. Yeah, very you rough. Understand? Very yeah. rough and rugged yeah, city. Yeah. So a lot has happened. You know? I used to tell people if you can't survive here, Potakot, you can't survive like any part of the world. So this version came from you know the situations. You understand the yeah, towns surrounding the city and the story. Ah, you understand okay, how yeah. hard the street is. You understand. So ah, okay. that's where you know, what it comes from. You okay. Understand? In any point in time in the city of Podakot, while you're growing up, yeah. have you experienced those bad sides like you've been relayed, you've been attacked, stuff like that? Because, yeah, like I said, there's no smoke without a fire. Yeah. So something must have triggered it 
yeah. for you to just come up with this. Have you had such experiences? Yes, I've been mobbed like you know. Wow. More than more than more than once. You understand? More than ten. And the same thing, no matter how tough you are. That's true. That's true. On a very good day, you just have to. Mm-hmm. That's true. Something very That's terrible. True. I've, I've even been kidnapped. You understand? You put that. More than ten. Yeah. That's like two or three years ago. Yeah. Kidnapped mm. because of your music, because they think you're too rich or what? I don't know, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> the country is so hard, man. You know, anything yeah, can happen. We understand, we understand. The street of Buttercourt, it's something else. Ah, yeah. So you just have to have that street orientation for you to survive. I know, wow, go on. Yeah, especially when they ask you who goes there. You <laughs> <laughs> support those no things to talk, so if you cannot rep- Yeah, who the produce are behind the song? Yeah, um, my boy who kiss the beat. Who oh, kiss the beat? Yeah. Basin Pot Harcourt. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one, nice one. And when did you produce it? This year, last year, when? This year. This year. Yeah. How yeah. old now? Two months. Two months old. Nice one, nice one. And it's been playing almost all the stations in the town. I want to go by. Yeah. I hate every day. Yeah, yeah. Every day. A good song, that. And a good thing to move. Yeah. yeah and Pot Harcourt people love them thing too. So, nice one. Now, back to your music career as an artist. You know, most people I ask, most people I talk with, I'm also a musician. Most people will tell you their challenges is money. Most will tell you family issues, they now want me to do music. Most people who are married will tell you their marital status drawing them back, picnic, family and thing. Yeah. It's just one person I've asked and he said his greatest challenge is trying to always build himself. Yeah. I asked him, is not the money? He said, no. It's not like he's too rich, but he just said the greatest challenge is trying to build himself. So right now, you as an artist, Udoka, you're getting very popular gradually as the time flies. The next two, three months from now, one year from now, you might go with an arsenal. Yeah, amen. What is your greatest challenge? All this while you've been doing this music professionally. Check back from the first year you started till now. What has been those things that has been drawing you back? Why I'm asking this is because your fans are out there listening. Yeah. Most upcoming artists who want to be like you are listening. Yeah. Most people who have heard the song, they don't know it's you are also listening. So they will learn from you. What has been these challenges all these years? The biggest challenge as an independent artist yeah. Yeah, will always be fault. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So that's the biggest one out there. Second, you know this um, career. Rap music in Nigeria. Yeah, very tough. It's, it's a very tough game. Yeah. You, you understand? You find an Afro person. You understand? Mm-hmm. Maybe that came out in the same year you came out. I'm you understand? Uh, the, the the lane is faster than rappers. You understand? So accepted faster. You understand? Accepted faster than rappers. So you just have to work so hard, like. Just like I told you, seriously, when some people heard maybe I started this journey 10 years, or maybe I've been in it for 10 years, they'll be like, wow, yeah. 10 years, but for real. I might even come up here and lie and tell, and tell you maybe I started last year just because yeah. I dropped no 48 this year, but I've been doing it for like wow, 10, 10 years now, you really understand? Good. So imagine the long time, you understand? And where I am now, I'm yeah. still happy and grateful True. because I know, I know some people that started you understand? Maybe they have left the Most game. of them be- have dropped. Yeah, because, you know, it's not working. It's not that fast. It's a very yeah. slow process. Yeah, and money as an independent artist. Artists. You understand? And maybe, judging from the situation of things in the country now, you understand? Even to get, to record a song now, I know what most artists go through. Yeah, it's not really it's easy. even easier for me somehow because I have um, so many good producers as Around friends. Here. You understand, I will always like. I have a guy, Kelchizi. He's a very nice producer in Pataco, and he's been very helpful yeah. to my career. You understand, sometimes he might even send you a beat to Doka. I know what you can do, come and kill this beat. You understand, mm-hmm. I'll be like, but I'm not getting money. You. you understand, no worry, just come by for make you do songs. So when you're 
around people like that. Really you understand? Know. So they help yeah. to push this career. So the major challenge has always been a rapper surviving in Nigerian music industry mm -hmm. and funds, which is yeah. money. You understand? Okay. That's just it. That's true. Mm -hmm. And over these 10 years, you've not given up. Yeah. You've not thought about diving into our flow. Not for one day. This is what keeps me going as a human being, you understand? That's why I say I I pro I do songs every a new song every week. Like I write songs almost every day. Okay. Okay. Almost every day. Okay. Since these ten years, you understand? Right. I've been back okay. to back. You understand? I'm trying to improve myself. You understand? So okay. it has been like that. It's it's like food for me. After eating, having enough rest, or maybe a stressful day, I just have to put something, something down, down on paper, yeah. like how my day went, or how the week went, and all those. So music is just like, it's poetry for me, it's way of life for me, it's food, it's life, it's everything for me. So that's the reason I've not given up since okay. 10 years. Kept you all this while. Yeah, I can't do without it. Yeah, you're a die hard hip hop head. <laughs> I love that, you know? Most people started with hip hop. Yeah. Three, four years later, then change them style. Yeah. You know most of them too. Yes, yes. Even the popular celebrities we know today, most of them have changed. They yes, understand. Yes. But you're here still keeping it. That's why I said, whatever you say is giving hope to somebody outside yeah. there. Because we learn from each other every yeah. day. You understand? Just like you said, real, no real. Yeah. The real hip hop heads. Like you too, who are coming up yeah. with this, they can build their own career yes, and their exactly. own brand too. Exactly. Yeah, that's real good. So, another question for you. I kept hearing you talking about being an independent artist. Do you have a record label personally, or you're under a record label? No, I'm not under a new um, record label for now. You understand? Okay. I'm working on my. Maybe to get my own, you understand? As so time goes on. To get your own record yes, uh, but I collaborate uh, most times with them, um, Street um, Plug NG. Street Plug NG. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. it's just the brand that's been helping me recently. You understand? But there's no official record. Record. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, since no official record label has signed you for now, you, it, it means you do basically everything by yourself. Yeah. Is it just music you do alone? Because for you to go this far, record songs, even if you don't pay for production, you buy food. Yes, but yeah. You you pay transport, you do you feed, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. You do any other thing apart from music. Yeah, I have other side also, you understand? As a as a street guy. Yeah. You understand? I do almost everything on the street. Okay. You understand? Just to survive. Yeah. But mainly another thing I do aside music. I'm a Bet King agent. Oh, right. You understand? So that's another side also. Okay, also so music. you have something that keeps yeah. you going yeah. while you're you're searching for bigger brands. Yeah. Okay, okay. Big one, big one. So we'll be going on another break and we'll come back, we'll roll over every time, yeah. yes. Yeah people, remember me telling us every day here yeah, with the one who do car. And he has told us the reason why he did the song 48. And if you're a true Portacord band, you should love that song. Now nah, follow Bad Company. Yeah, thrown by the meds there. Yeah. And this is an advice to all youth man them. Without a dear boy girl. Yeah. Now nah, follow Bad Company. Watch back at the friend you follow because the time is rough. Some man them have to just tell you, oh boy, follow me, me go see somebody. They now know say it's a criminal journey there, pan. Yeah. And the next thing you find yourself, you see yourself in a prison. And you go ask why. So it's really good to watch her. That's why the song No 48 in it fish shine your eyes yeah. and know why I want to know what's going on out there. <laughs> yes sir, people. Yeah, we are back again. Pan the cross for tonight and me have a yard, the one them, Udo car. And in there with me all this while, bag of questions coming out, money more still coming out too. Yes, before we run, cause time running fast, we know you have a lot of appointment tonight. Yeah. Before we left, 
I want to take it step by step. It's in a two phases. This is first for the artists them, the upcoming artists them, and even the bigger artists. You know, being big doesn't mean you don't have a problem. Yeah. Exactly. A small man for advice a big man too. So, this question is for everybody who is an artist. What is your advice to them to stay focused like you have stayed focused all these years? Because like you say, lots of people are complaining of the phones. Lots of them too, they have the phones, no idea, no direction. Because we know enough youth man we are rich, they music channel, but still yet they are nowhere today. So what is your advice to all these people me just mentioned? Okay, like if you're up and coming, you understand, yeah. so, music artist in yeah. Nigeria, just one thing you have to, you have to have this um, thing in mind. Okay. This mindset that it's not going to be easy first. Okay. It's not like bed of roses where you jump on and the next thing you, you know, blow oh. up, you understand? Yeah. So you just have to know it's not going to be easy. So yeah. you have to put in work yeah. every day. Okay. You understand? As you work pray alongside you understand and try to stay focused you know always put yourself around these people that will always encourage you you understand because some kind of company you keep sometimes might discourage you you understand that so you just have to be focused it doesn't matter how long because our fingers are not equal you understand it might take you two years a year months it might take another person five years because just it's just the grace of God. We all we, we have our different times, you understand? Yeah, you might want the time. Yeah. And secondly, just like I said, you don't have to keep yourself around people that will discourage you. Mm -hmm. And you have to make sure you have this talent. I say it all the time. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, there are so many people out there, so many artists, they don't have talent, but they have money. They have money. You understand? So you just have to make sure you for you to it. last or get actually get what you deserve in this industry, you just have to make sure that that talent is there. Yeah, yeah. If it's not there, I don't just know. Because is it, is it talent that will make you that more creative? Just, that is just the main thing. The talent has to be there, you understand? Yeah, and you yeah. mind how you nurture it, you understand? Okay. You consistently, you understand? Okay. You grow, you okay. get what you deserve. I heard you talking about putting in more works and more works. When you say more works, you do you mean writing more songs or looking for something to raise funds to back up the whole process of they, work? They work together, you understand? Okay. As okay. you work, you understand, to, you know, in being creativity because yeah. time is just changing. Yeah. The kind of rap we do five years ago is it's not no longer what is happening now. So you yeah. have to follow the trend. The trend yeah. You understand? You just have to be on point. You have to be flexible. You understand, you know? So be versatile, then, you know, hustle. Okay. Look for other things to get for, especially when you are the only one pushing yourself. Pushing yourself yeah. You understand? Then, very, very important, you have to be powerful about this. Without God, it's just that grace is talent and grace. You understand the words? The little forms. Okay. You, okay. you go. All this while you've been doing this music, Udoka. Have you been criticized? You know, like me, I do reggae music strictly, and most people will ask me, You are not an old man and you love reggae this much. Just like you said, you love hip hop to the bone. That's how I just love reggae music. And they'll be like, Do you think you can last in this? And I've been doing it all this while, still yet, me now I go back. Have you had some criticism in this hip hop thing you're doing that has brought to your mind? Should I quit or should I still keep going? Have you? Uh, Even yes. if it's from friends, family, colleagues, wherever, just mention yeah, it. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I do, people do, you understand, criticize what you do. Like, yeah. like social media yeah. It's another tool that can maybe make you or destroy you. You understand? So like when you listen to everything. everything. Understand? And when you it take it in. in. When you take it in, when you allow it to get to you. Yeah. The one thing you have to do first, whenever you uh, chase any career, is to believe in yourself first. True. Number one thing. Once you believe in yourself, like once you tell yourself 
compare yourself sometimes with the people you look up to yeah. and be like, wow, I'm doing very well. Yeah. Nothing can ever. When you believe in yourself that much, mm -hmm. like you look up to you, those people, those people you look up to, you compare their work to yours, to yours yeah. and be like, man, I'm great. Nothing, That's no, criticism, right. no criticisms can just keep you. Okay. You understand? Or no critics can keep you down. You understand? You can get to you. That is it. That's just it. You believe right. in your talent. That's right. Forget about it. I always tell people, if you don't believe in yourself, do you expect me to believe in you? Yeah. So you are the first to believe in yourself. And you then right. your belief will not convince me yeah. to believe it. That's the real thing. All right. Many of me have asked you this, but since you're about to step out, I want you to throw more light on it again before you leave. It's about the situation of the time. What is your advice to the general public? You know, the insecurity is tough. Yeah. Life, as in lifestyle, how to eat and how to live, is really tough. Yeah. What is your last word for the people to keep them strong, to hold them strong? Because most people hearing you now will feel like you have everything. But they don't know you're just contented with what you have exactly. because most people always assume they don't when they wear your shoes that's the only time you will feel the pain so what is your advice for them to hold on strong it's, it's a very tough one you understand it's an emotional one yeah. for me because yeah. you know looking at where i'm coming from I, I always like to use myself as an example you understand i came from where there's nothing just have to fend for yourself and you've made out something you understand so never give up it's just the word because some people sometimes they go tell you say that light at the end of the tunnel say they don't offer it's still your own you understand it depends on how you see this life you understand so don't just give up this situation of things right now is just it's it has gotten to that point where people can just say man nothing will come out you understand but we just have to, don't just give up if it's possible just be focused you know make yourself happy with those things you you are passionate about yeah at least believe that, that one day yeah. just like my sometimes i just the economy is very bad now yeah. it is nothing to write home about you understand but i just have to give myself that hope that one day everything will be fine just one day everything will be fine and even sometimes even coming out today alone you understand if i wow. tell you the stress we have to go through so but we thank god and sometimes i just have to surround myself with people that encourage me all the time positive energy you understand wow. everybody right from the producers because people i have around me is just music people you understand so right from the producers the photographers, the video guys, and everything. Sometimes they they understand. How okay, it you is. have your full team already. Yes, I, sometimes they do understand. They'll be like, let's just work. Forget about the, the money, money aspect. You understand that is the thing most important. That, that's what has kept me going. You understand? Yeah. All this why seriously because it's been difficult. But yeah, don't just give up. That's just it. All right, all right. Okay, before you go. The last thing you you drop your handles yeah. for the people. You can even call your phone number, your WhatsApp number, yeah. your Instagram, Twitter, yeah. whatever, wherever people can follow you. And you also drop the links to the song if it's on Audio Mark, SoundCloud, Revive Nation, wherever it is. Just drop it so your fans and the entire public can have access to it. Okay. okay. So you start with anyone you want to. Alright, like you can get me on Facebook at Udoka ESB. Udoka ESB. Udoka ESB. That's for Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Twitter Udoka ESB. Okay. U D O K A ESB. Okay, that's Twitter at Udoka ESB. ESB. No Fe underscore no, nothing. No. Okay. Facebook Udoka ESB. Okay. Then Instagram Udoka Live. U D O K A L I V E. Udoka okay. Live. Live. One yeah. word. Yeah. They're not do Mark, Spotify, you know, Doka. Just Udoka. Udoka, yeah. Okay, on those platforms, you yeah. can get any yes. of the songs. Okay. All my songs are there. All right, so 
if you wish to drop your WhatsApp number for anyone too, it's okay. good. Okay, my official WhatsApp number is 080 333 9007. Call it again. Zero eight zero. Take it slowly. Three three three. Yeah. Nine zero, nine zero seven. All right, all right. It's a nice section with you, Doka. Okay, and thanks for having me. Yeah, and I believe from time to time I will have you here on the cruise again. I love your advice. I love everything. And above all, there's something you said. You said they should keep themselves happy with what they love. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because when you're happy, it makes you not think too much you know most of these things that are happening is from too much of thinking people are thinking too much because of the situation but at least with all this you've said a positive light have come to the people so once again me tell us a respect for coming to reggae cruise yeah?